How good is this, guys? Really important when you catch a fish like this and you've had it out of the water for as long as I have, whether it's salt or fresh. We've seen a lot of these fish caught now. Really important to make sure it's healthy before it swims away. It might swim away straight away, but then go belly up a little bit later on. So do a few kicks. What do you reckon, boys, before it goes? Just let it just hold her up and let Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ready. My big girl. Thanks for your fight, mate. See you next time. Whoa. Awesome video today, guys. Full of cod, full of fishing. Can't wait to show you guys fishing the Murray River slash Mulwala. Let's get into it. You. Off surface. Oh. Today. Nice beautiful cod. Um, let's get this big guy back in the water and let him swim, swim away. Beautiful cod. Right there, guys. Really, really nice cod. <laughs> I'm casting over there underneath into that little, you can see it um, straight ahead of me. There's like a gap in that tree. It's like a hollow point. And yeah, got the little right up underneath it and it just went pump. Yeah, it's just so much fun, guys. Beautiful fish. Couldn't ask for a better day. Um, again, it's just using the bass skills that I've been honing my craft over in the estuary and um, using bigger gear. So we're gonna let this big guy go, gonna let it go back and um, hopefully we can catch a few more. really good fish and I've got line everywhere too there's two rods out this is a really really good fish this is a very good fish actually I have to try and somehow get this other rod in I think oh no don't tangle on that line This is a, guys, this is a huge fish. It's got to be a massive Murray cod. Oh, okay, it's going to be, as you guys can see, I've got that other rod out. Oh my God. This is huge, guys. Huge fish. This is on my light here too. This one's only such a small rod. Got 12 pound leader. Oh, this is a huge fish. Huge fish. Oh my god. 
This thing is huge. On the boat again. Oh, my arms are sore already. Oh, this thing is absolutely huge. Can't even lift it off the bottom. <laughs> Oh. I've never caught a cod this big or any anything like this in the fresh water. This is absolutely huge. I don't even know what to do. I've got another line out, do I? Try and get that in or not? Yeah, I've just got to try and tie this thing out. Oh, it's huge! What a fish! What a fish! Fishing up in this little little pocket away from where all the boats are going to be all day in a spot that I don't think... Oh my god, that's huge! Every time it runs, it ties out, but I don't know if my net's gonna be big enough. It's just, just hooked, just hooked. And we just hooked. Top of the lip. Oh, what a fish! <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Oh, how's this for a beautiful place to fish? I've got line everywhere, snags everywhere, and I've caught this on the lightest rod you could possibly, I reckon, catch a Murray cod that big. <laughs> Woo! you can catch these fish um, it is difficult but you just got to make sure that your lure's in the right spot so you can see this little shady spot next to this tree branch here or this this tree falling into the water really good spot there as an ambush predator for yeah these cod to sit um, the Murray River out here it's probably moving at about two to three kilometers an hour so not quickly but quick enough that obviously it can it can grab anything that floats by so what we're gonna do is just aim towards that tree branch wouldn't mind hitting it just letting that lure just drop right to the bottom being a spinnerbait, obviously it's not going to get snagged all that often. And with this kind of tree system here, there's not like a lot of branches going everywhere and stuff. It's, it's pretty much straight down. And you're just going to do a retrieve every couple of seconds. Just let it pause, let it drop back down. Again, wind in, pause, let it drop down, etc, etc. All the way back to the boat. Do call the Murray Cod a fish of a thousand casts. And there's a reason for it is I could be sitting here knowing there's a cod underneath that spot casting at it a thousand times and it might only take you know it could take 900 casts before um, that cod actually strikes that lure so you've got to be patient it's about sticking to a plan finding a spot like this and just targeting targeting that area until the fish strikes oh, good hit Great fish out of that structure. Oh. Oh, 
Murray pod. Gonna need a bigger net soon. What a beautiful cod, guys. Love catching these, especially when you're targeting an area like that. Um, again, it's very similar to fishing for bass for those that are estuary fishermen like me. Just got to target those shallow, sorry, those shadowy spots next to the, the structure and make sure your lure's in the right spot and be very slow with your retrieve. And this is what happens. Another beautiful fish, fish number four. the trawl to you guys just trawling this um spinner this red spinner that's been catching all these fish today and got a good strike we'll try and keep it away from that other line beautiful cod Cod number six, guys, for today. Another beautiful fish. Sorry about the camera angle. Um, this one, again, caught on that sort of pink and black spinner that I've been doing really well on today. Uh, just been trawling that one. And what a beautiful, beautiful um, cod that one is. A fish, hundred percent a fish. Geez, that's hilarious, eh? Oh shit! It's a huge cod. It's a meter. Meter. It's a meter. Do you want to get Dom? Hold on. I'm gonna need him. Actually, is there a bank over there? It's a it's a meter, mate. Nah. Tom behind a video, father-in-law, Brad over here too, been on a kayak all the morning. Great, uh, great day off the lure. We nearly finished, weren't we boys? Pretty much, just about to call it a day. And I need to get back to the gym because I am stuffed. <laughs> um, thanks everyone for watching. If you did like this, give me a like, and if you would subscribe, that would mean a lot. I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. See ya. Bye, big girl. Thanks for your fight, mate. See you next time. Oh. <laughs>